Hello everyone, welcome to Aptera Owners Club. I wanted to make a video about this thing called an axial flux motor that I just found out about today. Um, maybe you guys have known about it for a long time, but this is something I didn't know about. But there are two companies, Magnax and Yasa, that are making this thing called the yokeless axial flux motor. So this is the way that most uh, electric motors are made. They have um, a stator and, and then the, the core here. And basically, the flux goes out radially. So it goes out from here out to the, the, um, the stator. Um, but axial flux, the, the, mag, the stator is, uh, is sandwiched between the magnets. And the flux travels axially in the same plane as the axis of the motor instead of perpendicular. And... With an ax for, with a yokeless axial flux motor, you get rid of the yoke and it reduces a lot of the weight. And so they have um, a lot of advantages. It's much lighter and has much more um, efficiency because the air gap is less. So this is their um, comparison to the Tesla Model 3 radial flux motor, which is one of the best and most efficient uh, radial flux motor. So this one is has a weight of 46 kilograms with a peak power of um, 238. And their yokeless motor um, has a mass of uh, less than 25 kilograms with a peak power of about 400. So their power density is uh, like four times higher. They're saying four times higher than the uh, Tesla motor. So this was their kind of expected values. And also the other advantage of this motor is that it uses a lot less material for the same amount of power. So it uses 74% less copper, 50% less iron, and 26% less magnets. So Magnex has spun off um, a company called Tra Traxial. And what they're saying is they have about three times the power density and they expect 20% more range because they're more efficient. So they're saying that their, um, their electric motor efficiencies are about 96% and most radial motors are less than 90%. So they're expecting 20% more range based on the WLTP um, testing regimen. And uh, it's a more compact, smaller, lighter motor. So uh, this is this is Yasa's website, and they claim that they're they're not as um, aggressive. They're saying that they have a uh, thirty percent power density advantage, so um, and a five percent range increase. So track fuel is a lot lot more. Uh, they seem to be a lot more optimistic. They're saying three hundred percent higher power density and twenty percent more range. Anyways. It is better. It's a very early technology, and no one's making axial um, flux hub motors yet. Um, but just just imagine. So one of the big problems with um, the hub motor, which may not be as big a problem, but one of the potential problems with a hub motor is that the unsprung weight is fairly large. So it's 23 kilograms. This is the M700 that Aptera is going to use. So the unsprung weight um, increase is about 23 kilograms. Just imagine, like if it was three times more power dense, so it's one third the weight, you know, and it was only like eight kilograms, that would be incredible. Um, and then it would give, you know, 10 to 20% more range. That'd be on the 1000 mile Aptera, that'd be uh, uh, an extra 100 to 200 miles. So anyways, this is a pretty exciting technology that um, is being developed right now. And I think think that um, there's a lot of excitement. There was a Charged EVs um, article about it saying that they think this axial flux motor um, technology is a superior technology to the radial flux and should take over and may become the dominant thing. And just like how hub motors are not the most common thing now, but may become the most dominant 
drive uh, powertrain for EVs because it's just more efficient because you get the um, all the frictional losses of the drivetrain and the transmission and the shafts out of the picture. If you combine a hub motor with the axial flux hub motor, that'll become the most efficient, lightest um, system. Now, this is probably several years away. Um, I ex I'm guessing that there won't be hub motors for three, four, five years from now, but it's pretty exciting to see that this kind of technology is being developed, and hopefully in the next iterations of the Aptera or other EVs that we'll see some um, axial flux hub motors. Um, if you've heard about them before or know anything about them, uh, please comment below. Uh, thanks for watching.